Hello and welcome to Try It Tuesday. This is Jewel Smith. This is a demo. You see there it says unlock full game. So this is just a free demo of the game that'll probably last. Uh, their free demos usually last, depending on how fast I can do the puzzles. Somewhere from maybe 30 minutes to an hour. So we'll try this out today and if I like it, I'll buy it and I'll play the whole thing. Uh, but Eventide, the first game, was called Eventide Slavic Fable. And I played that one. I played the whole game back in January of 2018. And I really enjoyed it. I, I think I started it for a Try It Tuesday and I liked it enough to buy it. And then I kept playing it and, and finished it. It was... Um, I don't know how what made it different from other point-and-click puzzle games. Uh, I mean, I, I, I play a lot of these types of games, but sometimes I'll play a demo and then not continue, and sometimes I'll play the demo and want to continue. I think Eventide had a really nice mixture of story and challenging puzzles for me. Uh, the story was really intriguing because it was based on Slavic myths and legends. So it was a fantasy story. It had a, a scientist character. She was a botanist as the main character, but she went into this enchanted forest and she encountered all kinds of mythological creatures from Slavic legends. And I thought that was just, it was really inspired. It was really beautifully done. So I'm going to try out the sequel here. This sequel, even tied to The Sorcerer's Mirror, originally came out in October of 2016. It is an Artifacts Monday game, which is the developer whose games I play a lot of. <laughs> uh, you can find them at artifactsmonday.com or Monday or however it's pronounced. Uh, it's not Monday like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It's uh, Monday like M-U-N-D-I. It's Latin, I guess. I could probably stand to do expert mode, but we'll just, we'll go with casual so we can hang out and have a good time. Ooh, the story in this game depends on the choices you make. Really? That's a little different than the first one. I don't think the first one had a branching narrative. Interesting. Ooh, who's this guy? This view is impressive. Oh, there's a rad storm coming there. in. Those clouds. Yeah. There weren't any storms in the forecast. Hurry up. Find the objects listed below. Here is one. What? Where? What is it showing me? Oh, right there. Okay. Got it. Okay. We need to find... Oh, it's sparkling. We found a blade. And a corkscrew. And looks like some bullet casings. Or something. I don't know. Uh, interact. Oh, we can push this open a little further. Whatever that is. Some kind of latch or something. There's some carabiners in there. Ring. Uh, do we need this thing? Yeah, we do. Mm, do we have time to eat the pretzel? Nom nom nom. Oh, I bet there's a chain on this. No, I can't get that chain. It looks like a chain, doesn't it? There's a chain on there. Well, there's a chain right there. Okay, we'll take that chain instead. And the end of the compass. And whatever these things are. Oh, we put together a Swiss Army knife. Oh, and there goes all the rest of my stuff. And my pretzel. Aww. I don't think we're walking out here. <laughs> it said walk up. <laughs> I don't think that's Help. what we're doing. I can't hold on much longer. 
And that's why she's called Cliffhanger. <laughs> you guys ever seen that? that was a kid's show. Or uh, it was part of a kid's show called Between the Lions. They had this little segment called Cliffhanger. And it was a cliffhanger hanging from a cliff. And it was a guy that was hanging on the side of a cliff in every episode. All right. Yeah. So what am I supposed to do? Zoom. Okay. Guess we'll use the knife. Okay, you can climb now. Alright, so she was kind of stuck on that branch. Is that what was going on? Take my hand. Jenny, watch out. Take her away. Ooh. to be alive who was that they kidnapped Jenny I need to find her and that's our objective we must rescue Jenny the ground is close this lion saved me but I have to cut it now do I still have my knife I do so what were those guys doing out there they, they looked like they were cosplayers or pirates or something I thought this was modern day. What were they wearing? Okay, I found something. I don't know what that was. What was it? Ooh, what is this place? Find all the cars with imps. What is this? Find all the glimmering mirrors. Oh, yeah, alright. So these are kind of like extra little little things to find in the game. Got it. Stop! Go away! <gasps> Jenny! Oh no! Are you okay? They kidnapped my niece. Who is it? The master of this land, Twardowski. And Twardowski. his henchman, Janosik. The first is a powerful mage. And the other is my son. I'm truly concerned about him. I'm Yagna, the local herbalist. My leg, oh, it hurts so much. Can you help me? I need some medicine. This may help you to prepare it. Help Yagna. Okay. Oh, is this one of those mirror image things that we we're supposed to collect? Yes, it is. Find all the glimmering mirrors. Okay. Got any imp cards? Need those too. Burn treatment recipe. We need some butter and some mint and some salt. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that's what that is. Aww. Happy family. Sleeping powder recipe. A rose and some pepper and I don't know what that is. Some kind of plant. Healing balm. Oh, okay. A small plus symbol on the item indicates that you can inspect it closer and interact with it. Open inventory. Oh, select the item with a plus sign and press triangle to examine it. I see. Okay, cool. We need to find a bowl with water, a pestle, I guess we don't need a mortar, disinfectant herbs, and a bandage. Okay. What else can we read in here? Acne treatment. 
Weak heart recipe. Oh. Huh. Okay. Oh, that looks like a pestle. Is there a vessel for the pestle? Oh, okay. This looks like it might have a bowl. If I bribe this bird somehow, I will be able to take the bowl. Alright. I don't have anything to bribe a bird yet. We can go down here. We have a stick. Oh, I bet we can go. Oh, we can pick some berries. You shouldn't just pick random berries, though. Don't know if they might be poisonous. And this is probably where we can get some water after we get rid of the bird. Maybe we gotta give the berries to the bird. Now we can take the bowl. Oh, little birdies are happy eating the poison berries. Now we can use the bowl here. And we have found a bowl with water. Excellent. Alright, we have the bowl with water. We'll add that to the group. Now I think we need to go back with this branch we found. Oh, this looks like something here. Hang on, hang on. I'll get to you. I'll get to you. Let's use... Yeah, they don't even call it a branch. They just tell you it's a lever. We'll grab our backpack. Oh, we have a map now. We can use the map to navigate in the game world. Alright, we were here. And then we went here. Okay. Botanist Monthly. Rare Species Saved Again. Oh, this looks like the location from the first game. Mary Gilbert discovered and saved from extinction a rare fern flower species in Moreland Heritage Park. Yeah, that's what we did in the first game. The first Eventide game. It's not a good time to read about my accomplishments. Alright, so her name is Mary Gilbert. Oh, that looks like a bandage. And I guess we're all done here. So let's... Let's put the bandage with the group. Okay, and let's see what happens when we go to... Oh, look at this. We've gathered disinfectant herbs. Find hidden objects. Okay, it looks like we're going to be finding, looks like uh, maybe chamomile and mint. Maybe behind this leaf. Yeah. And here, and here, and here. I don't know. Maybe those flowers are too big to be chamomile. I don't know what the purple ones would be. Hyssop? Is that an herb? Sounds familiar. Yeah, actually, I just googled on my computer and that is exactly what that looks like is hyssop. H-Y-S-S-O-P. How did I know that? <laughs> Man, my brain has some odd information stored in it sometimes. the disinfectant herbs. Okay, I imagine we're gonna have to use that to mash them up in the water. And then put the bandage, or we're gonna put the medicine on the bandage, okay. And go back to the lady in the glade. Thank you. The bridge is damaged, 
but I can show you another way to the village. We'll find out what happened to your niece. I hope we can save her. I need your help to stop Fardovsky. The things he does, they are truly wicked. Oh no. Will you help me? Yes, I will help you. Take me to the village. He's truly wicked. What is he doing that's truly wicked? You may approach the mirror. I've got a present for you. I promise. I will find a way to deliver it to you. What? The mage. I'll hide behind the crowd. He won't see me there. There's some kind of lady in a mirror. She looks like she's in like a tank full of water. And this guy, he was extracting green glowing snot from this other guy. And this guy is like promising to bring her gifts and stuff. What in the heck is going on here? Strange little creatures. Are they magical? Oh, there's little trolls and imps and things. Yeah, I think we met some of those in the first in the first game too. Oh, we're gonna sneak up behind the crowd. Mary! I thought something bad happened to you. I'm so happy to see you. Please help me. I found this in the carriage. I don't know who it is, but she looks just like me. Oh, is this going to be like some Vlad Dracula kind of thing? Where he's like trying to find some lady that looks like his lost love Enough and for today. bring Enough his Please, woman back to life to or something? To husband. Have mercy, my lord. No. Take the mirror to my residence. Tonight, it all Werewolf, doesn't it? And this guy's busy polishing his shovel for grave digging. He looks like the kind of guy I'm gonna do some grave digging. Oh, we can talk to this guy. Sadness and depression all around. People aren't burying their dead. I need a drink. Yeah, I knew he looked like a grave digger. <laughs> He needs a drink, huh? Maybe we need to bring him a drink and he'll give us that shovel because we'll need that shovel for something later. And something weird going on over here. What's this? Oh, some kind of memorial to a bunch of lost loved ones? The locals left these items for their loved ones. Why? Why is everybody... There's a cemetery behind that fence. Seems pretty secure. Leave me alone, stranger. Entering the cemetery is forbidden, but I need to talk with my husband. Do not disturb me, please. Is your husband alive or dead? Do I want to know? The locals left these items for their loved ones. Oh, here's the thing. For my sister, Marta, to keep her warm. Okay. To my darling to wear when you come back. Uh, I don't know if these... If they're in the cemetery, I don't think they're coming back. Uh-oh. Is this guy a necromancer? The cemetery is restricted by the order of Master Svardovsky. In case of extreme emergency, only the key to this gate is kept by the grave digger. Ah, oh, yeah. See? Oh, look. We get to... We can take these screws. Oh, we found a screw. Okay, can I take all the screws? Nope, just that one that was loose. <laughs> he had a screw loose. <laughs> oh, the butcher's open now. Oh, she's the butcher. Oh, I don't know if I want to eat any meat she's making. Please, do not disturb me. It's hard enough to run this business since my husband has been gone. I'm just gonna take that mirror you got there. Don't mind me. Okay. Mm. 
making meat pies there. What kind of meat? She is living awful close to the cemetery. Is this a Sweeney Todd situation? I'm just saying. Oh, hello, puppy. The wolf won't let me pass. Yeah, yeah. Would you like... Would you like a uh, screw, Wolfie? A locket? No? No? Okay. Would you like some meat? Oh, I bet I can get some meat from the butcher. And get him to let me pass. Alright, let's go over and talk to our friend. Have you seen Janosik? Does he look well? I'm worried he's not taking his medicine. But you have your worries too. We have to help your niece. Tvardovsky summoned his wolf. It means the ritual is about to start. I can put the wolf to sleep, but I'll need ingredients. Bring me a okay. few leaves of wormwood. Are you going to stuff it in some wood? You have to figure out how to get meat? to the cemetery. Maybe the grave digger will help you. Here's the recipe you need. Okay, sleeping powder recipe. Are we going to put it? Yeah, we're going to take. We're going to make the sleeping powder, I bet, and put it in some meat, and then feed it to the wolf, and he'll fall asleep. I bet ya. Welcome, stranger. Dagna told me that you helped her. So I'll give you a drink in reward. Oh, that was but easy. do you plan to give it to this lazy scoundrel, Grave Digger? He's not getting anything. Oh, man. I get to make a choice. Go ahead and make your choice. No, I want it for myself. Yes, it's for him. Well, I want a drink. No, but it is for him. I don't want to have to drink it right in front of this guy. And I don't want to lie to him. I can help you, but you have to do something for me. Okay. I lost something precious below the podium in the middle of the village. If you bring it to me, I'll see what I can do for you. Okay, that's fair. This is a new twist in these games. Having the, uh, the branching narrative and the choices and stuff. They haven't done that before. And not in any of the games I've played. I mean, this came out in 2016, so it's not like new, new, but I wonder why they didn't do it in some of the games that came later. I like it. It's cool. No one can escape death. Click on the objects indicated in the text. Keywords are written on the scroll at the bottom of the screen. Yet we all desire our dearest could escape it. Our master, Twardovsky, had known the feeling of loss of the dearest person. He wanted to spare others from it. That's this clown. the villagers he will bring back souls of their beloved for a small price the villagers can see and talk to their lost ones the price is this green stuff he's extracting Is he taking like now, their life energy or something? They live inside mirrors, but soon the master will bring them back. I don't know. I don't trust this guy. Seems like it's all smoke and mirrors. Identical symbols with an uninterrupted line. Oh, I like these. Okay. Let's see what we can do.
There we go. Ooh. It's getting a little more complicated. Okay. way and this one goes this way. Yay, we did it. Ooh, something going on here. Let's take that. Girl, is it Jenny's look-alike? Doesn't look like Jenny now, does it? Oh, yeah. Another half of the locket right there. I was happy once. But then, he kidnapped me. The wizard. He was mad after his wife's death. So he used me in his awful experiment. But I could not forget about my love and resisted. I was weak, but you can defeat him. What? Take this. It can help you. Well, there's the rose we need. Thank you. Okay. Don't take this locket from me. Having it will free my soul. Okay, that's cool. Keep the locket. Go and be free. You've suffered too much already. I need this locket as proof against Fardovsky. When I defeat him, you'll be free. No, I'm not going to take her locket. She can keep it. Thank you. Take this. May it bring you luck in your endeavor. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the ghost hanky. I bet if we go here and use the oil, I need something to rub the oil in. Okay. go. What did that say? I didn't see what else it said. Okay. Well, let's go back to this lady. This is Love It. I found this. You said you missed your husband. Will this be of help? I'll give you this picture, but I want something from your shop in return. I'm not going to be mean about it. I'll just give this to her. Oh, it's him. It's so good to see this picture again. Here you are. You may need some meat, so this is for you. Thank you. See, I got the meat anyway. Alright. Let's take a look. We have the sleeping powder. I think we need to put it in the meat. What? 
right, let's Bring talk to her. Bring me all the ingredients and help me prepare the sleeping powder. Okay, well, now we help have me that. and put the rest of the ingredients in the cauldron. Ready? Bring me a bunch of lavender to give it a nice smell. Oh, now she's a hidden object puzzle. Okay, that's lavender. I gotta find two of them, all right. to color it brightly. Okay. And some chamomile for a calming effect. Oh, it is chamomile. All right. I was right. Smash the poppy seed nicely and then let it boil. Okay. Toadstools will help to give it the proper blow. Blow? <laughs> what, the, what exactly are we doing with this wolf? Add chili peppers to mask the bitterness. That's the one right there. Three drops of valerian will put the wolf to rest. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, if you're going to mix poppy and chamomile and valerian, we're going to kill this wolf, not just make him sleep. Gee whiz. Everything is in the cauldron. Now I have to make a spell. Power of sleep. Power of calm. Into the powder and reverse the charm. Here's the sleeping powder. Add it to the meat and feed it to the wolf. This will put him to sleep. Okay. I wonder if when we get to the wolf, that'll be the end of the demo. It certainly has a feeling like we're getting to the end of this level, doesn't it? We've done all we can do in this little area here. And I bet when we feed the wolf, then it's going to say, like, that's the end of the demo. And if you want to keep going, you're going to have to buy the whole game. turned into a little puppy. Go toward the mansion. Yep, I was right. I was right. <laughs> That's the end of the game. Well, the end of the demo. The end of the demo today. Unless I unlock the full game. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. Oh, that's really cool. I like that scene right there. And that one, too. That looks like stuff around my house. <laughs> yeah, see, I like these even tied games because, like the first one, it has a really good mixture of, of puzzle to story. And it has kind of this interactive element. And it has this mystical, magical, strange element to it. I mean, most of the Artifacts Monday games have some kind of supernatural something going on in them. But a lot of them it's like demon worshippers or <laughs> or some kind of like haunted carnival or you know, something like that. This is more like I mean, there's a bad guy in it, but you know, a lot of the other stuff that we're dealing with is more just like folk magic and you know, imps and trolls and, and fairy tale kind of things. And I really like that. I really like it. And I like the artwork. It ha it's, a, it's realistic without too much realism. 
It's a nice style. I'm enjoying it. Everybody, take care of yourselves. Until next time.